today to pick up a, uh, a female Malinois named Pink. Uh, the dog will be uh, given to RJD down in San Diego. She's basically going to help us out down at, down at Donovan State Prison to, uh, to find narcotics, uh, cell phones, and, and other contraband that, that she can hit on. And we're very happy to present you with Canine Pink. She's awesome. She's a year old, female Belgian Malinois. And she'll probably be your new, your new partner. Yeah, I'm sure these two will get along famous. Our program wouldn't be as far as it is without you guys. Awesome. <laughs> Robert Hansen, I'm with the Department of Corrections at Sato State Prison. And uh, I got Viking about three years ago from Jeremy and Stephanie. And hands down, I think he's the best dog we have in the state. The best thing about Viking is his, uh, his obedience. I mean, he doesn't do anything he's not supposed to do. Um, I walk into a building and he's on my side the whole entire way. He's not yanking on me, he's not pulling on me. He's just there. And he's a happy dog. That's what makes it even better. I, I'm calm, I'm relaxed every time I go to a search because I know he is perfectly balanced. So we walk in there, he'll sit down, wait for, I mean he won't go until he gets the command and the command is I unhook him. Yeah. And then he's like, yes, and then he goes. Uh, I'm gonna hide something, oh, okay. so I was gonna find it. There's a, about three or four cotton balls that have been soaked in marijuana sitting right here. Just. Viking runs the show. Uh, it, it took us probably six months, then we bonded as a team, he, and I just unhook him and tell him to find it, and he does all the work. I just watch him. His best find is probably 15 feet in the air. It was a cell phone and a sock above an AC vent, and he was able to tell me, hey, look up, and it was 15 feet in the air. Um, did he, like you saw it right away, or did he? Oh, I didn't know what he was doing. He was doing a, like a ballerina dance, standing on his back legs, looking straight up, doing a circle. So then I looked up, and I see an AC vent, jump up on a couple of MA bunks, jumped on top of the vent, and there was uh, a phone up there. In a, you said in a sock. In a sock. In a sock. Really? Yeah. Pissed off sales out there. Right. <laughs> yeah, I'll never forget. That was probably the best find he ever did because I don't know how he smelled a phone from 10 feet away, 15 feet away. It's very, very, very gratifying for us to be able to donate these dogs. Cause they do such a wonderful job in the training process. We get, I mean, we get like, I've never cried because I'm a man, but I've gotten a little, gotten a little teary-eyed sometimes when you know we'll get a picture because we always ask them to update us as much as possible. They'll send us a picture of one of our dogs sitting there with. You know, whether it be a bunch of tobacco or you know, five cell phones, and we're like, yes, you know, like our dogs actually are busting these people. You know, so it's a phenomenal feeling for us too. We have 29 dogs statewide. Um, Stephanie and Jeremy have donated seven or eight now. Ninth one Nine, today. Ninth yeah. one. <laughs> so without them, this program wouldn't be where it's at today. We'll always have something, you know, for these guys. Yeah. We'll always have something for CDCR if they need a dog, and we have it. It's theirs. Yeah.